there, welcome back to another video. If you aren't familiar with me, I am Baker Betty and I'm a professional baking instructor and welcome to my channel. I hope you'll stick around by subscribing and you can also follow me at Baker Betty on Instagram and on Facebook. Now today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful lemon tart. This tart is so incredibly easy to make and it's really, really impressive. The crust is a really buttery shortbread crust, which means you don't have to mess with rolling it out. You're just gonna press it right into your tart pan. And then the filling comes together really, really quickly in a blender. You don't have to cook it on the stovetop like you do with a lot of lemon tart recipes. You're gonna pour it into your tart shell raw and then that's all going to go straight in the oven to finish cooking and setting. It's so tart. In my opinion, if you're gonna make a lemon dessert, it needs to make your mouth pucker and this absolutely delivers. So let's go ahead and dive into the recipe. Okay, so we're going to start with making the shortbread crust. So I'm putting one stick, which is 112 grams or four ounces of room temperature butter in my mixing bowl here. And you can use unsalted butter or salted butter. And then I'm adding to that 70 grams or one third cup of granulated sugar. And we're just gonna cream this together until it's pretty light and fluffy, about two minutes on medium speed. Okay, if you used unsalted butter, now you want to add a large pinch of salt. You can leave that out if you used salted butter. And then you're going to add in 135 grams, which is one cup plus two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And go ahead and mix that together. Now the mixture is likely going to be pretty crumbly as you mix this, um, but as long as you can kind of squeeze it together and it holds its shape when you give it a little pressure, you're good to go. Now if you do try and squeeze it a little bit and it's extremely crumbly and will not come together, go ahead and add a tablespoon of milk or water just to kind of give it a bit more moisture. Now we're going to pour the crust into our tart pan and go ahead and give your tart pan a little bit of a spray with nonstick spray. I forgot to do that this time, but make sure you do do that. It will help it release a lot easier. Now I am using a 14 by four inch rectangular tart pan, but you could also use a nine inch round pan. If you wanted to use an 11 inch tart pan, you are going to need to double this recipe. And we're just going to use our fingers to kind of spread it out in the pan and up the sides. Now once your crust is evenly spread out in your tart pan, go ahead and set that on a sheet tray that's going to make it much easier to transfer in the oven. And just set that aside and then we will go ahead and prepare the filling. Now for the filling, we're going to use both lemon zest and fresh lemon juice, which is just going to give us the most punch of flavor. The zest is the really bright yellow part on the outside of the lemon, and that is actually where all of the lemon oil lives, and it's just really, really concentrated with flavor. So you want to use a microplane, or you can use a really fine cheese grater to just take off that bright yellow part. You're not trying to get the white part that's underneath. And we need two teaspoons of lemon zest for our filling. And then we're going to juice the lemons and you need six tablespoons, which is 85 grams or 90 milliliters of lemon juice. So for making the filling, we're actually going to put it in my little food processor here, or you could use a blender, or if you have an immersion blender, you could just put it in a bowl and use your immersion blender. But I'm adding in here my 85 grams of fresh lemon juice. And next I'm adding in two large eggs, and these are at room temperature. And then I'm adding in those two teaspoons of fresh lemon zest. That's going to give us all of that lemony punch. And 135 grams, which is two thirds cup granulated sugar. And then I'm adding in one large pinch of salt. And I'm going to blend this together for about 30 seconds, just until it's really smooth and combined. 
Now we are not going to heat this on the stove top and usually if you were making a lemon curd, you would cook it and thicken it on the stove top, but we are just going to blend it and then we will be adding it right into our tart shell and it will cook and thicken up in the oven. Now after all of that is blended together, we're going to add one last ingredient and that is 28 grams or two tablespoons of melted butter. And you wanna make sure that that butter is no longer hot. So just stir in the melted butter and now we are going to pour this into our prepared tart shell. So we have the raw crust here and we're just going to gently pour that lemon filling into the crust it's a really, really thin mixture, so you wanna be careful that you don't really spill it over the sides of the crust. And then you're going to very carefully transfer that into your oven that has been preheated to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 160 degrees Celsius. And you're gonna put that on the center rack in your oven. Now we're going to bake this for about 22 to 25 minutes. You want to bake it until the center is starting to set, but it still has just a little bit of a wiggle to it. So you can see here, there's just a little bit of a wiggle when you kind of shake the tart pan, and that is perfect. So we're going to let it set here on the cooling rack for at a minimum of two hours. You really want this to cool completely before you release it from the tart shell and definitely before you serve it. So after it has cooled a little bit, you can take a butter knife and kind of run it along the edges if you need to, to release the crust from the sides. Now again, I forgot to spray my tart pan, so mine was a little trickier to get out, but if you do spray it, you shouldn't have too much difficulty getting it out, but just make sure there's no little parts that are sticking, and then you can pop it out of your tart shell. Now you might notice here there are a few bubbles on top of the tart, that's absolutely okay. We are going to sprinkle powdered sugar on top of it before we serve it so that all of that is going to get covered up. Now I think that a tart actually tastes much better if it has been refrigerated. So after I let my tart cool for a few hours at room temperature, I will typically pop it in the refrigerator for a few more hours before serving. And then right before serving, you can go ahead and dust your powdered sugar over the top of your shell. I actually really love using this little tea strainer. It's the perfect duster for powdered sugar, um, but you could also just use a sieve or whatever you like to dust your powdered sugar over the top. And you could top this with fresh berries if you like, or just serve it as is. It's the perfect refreshing dessert to end a heavy meal. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe tutorial, and if you did, please give it a like, and go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know what you thought, or if you have any questions, I would be happy to try to answer those for you. I'll see you back next time with another recipe tutorial.